Yeah, hello people. <laughs> it's your favorite people. We are back again. Amen. We are back again. Amen. Amen. So today we are heading to, uh, uh, to our live video. Amen. So we we'll have our normal conversation we normally do. So what are you guys want to discuss today? Prayer. Prayer. Prayer in that season. Yes. I like that. So that's what the Bible says, First Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 17. It said, pray without no season. Mm -hmm. Amen? Yeah. So I'll let you start with Sister Riva. Chip in. Well, no matter the circumstances, um, we see in the Bible that Jesus himself always prayed. Even when teaching the disciples, he would go away by himself to the mountain he would find a place to pray to God on his own on, on, on yeah. himself yeah. pray by himself yeah. so if we are following him then we also have to follow his steps in practice you have to practice uh, his steps his uh, teachings and that is praying no matter the circumstances sometimes i myself i'm just thinking oh god today i don't feel like but i force myself even this i give you an example even this um today this morning this afternoon i was working i was busy you know as a woman you need to cook you need to clean the house you need to take care of your husband i don't have kids but i still in do jesus it. name you have kids i have kids in the mighty name, name, name of, of jesus, jesus you have kids i have kids in jesus name amen, amen. In, god's in god's time i will have them i have been people have this prophesied year, sister, about this and year. this year this year is i am oh, yes. expecting so amen yes guys i have kids um and I was, I was just on my computer. I, I was actually a bit stressed with work and all these things. Um, and I was listening to worship music. And I just took five minutes. After I listened to worship, I just prayed. In front of my computer, I just did a little prayer. And that's what God wants us to do. Pray that sin, no matter because no matter how you feel just go by yourself or put some worship music be in the spirit and pray 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 and pray especially in these times that's all Amen. Say. sister sister leah chip in pray. Mm -hmm. pray in a big one mm -hmm. once i prayed and prayed and and i thought yeah it's coming mm -hmm. sometimes it takes years Mom, God's timing is the best timing. Amen. Stop playing God because it ain't going to work out. Hey, you hear that, people? Absolutely. If you, if you push your prayer, you know, if I do this, my prayer will hurry up. If I do this, it ain't happening <laughs> because God will just make it longer and longer and longer. Oh and yeah. patience is the key. Yeah, you go. God teaches Absolutely. patience. I prayed for something for seven years yeah. and it came to completion. Amen. 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 So Amen. Remember, prayer is important. Yes. And we can't expect it to happen like that in the blink of an eye. Yeah. Because, because some of our things is bad as they go. You know, if it just comes straight away, it just work out. You know, yeah. God works in His time. And should tell you what, His timing is always the right timing. Amen. We think that we need it, but actually we don't. Because there's a reason why He does things. Absolutely. We need to remember that. Can I, can I also add this, people? You know, Christ teaches us how to pray, okay? Mm -hmm. So, when he prays, he said, do what? He said, go to your cross room and close the door. Mm -hmm. He closed the door. Because, why do you have to pray in secret? Because your battle has to be won in secret. Yes. You see? So, my advice to you that listening, if you don't have a place in your house where you pray, I will suggest... If you have money, move home. Yes. 
okay or you wait for your people that you're living with when they leave the house if they ask you to go tell them okay you come after them guess what he used that time to pray you need to make a, a space and a place of prayer because it's an intimacy with god it's a relationship you see you talk to god and god talk back to you so in your house you must have a place where you pray if it's the toilet is the place where you pray good luck with that use the place in the toilet and pray if it's in the shower use the place and pray you must find a place to pray otherwise listen a prayer christian is a powerless christian you see so we want our bottles through or through prayers amen and also sometimes brother fast and pray oh yes you have to fast and pray oh yes you know there's certain things that you have to be led by fasting and praying not just prayer sometimes you have to fast through that prayer absolutely the prayer is not enough and, and not just that after you uh, when you fasted and praying you need to mingle your prayer with faith yes, exactly. you see if you pray without no faith you then i will advise pray. you that's it you must wait don't bother because what does it say it's gonna Sister Diva, yeah. i want to just start that jesus said to Charles. jesus said to to Charles. i think he's in matthew i don't remember which chapter believe only you just have to believe yeah. and when you believe it's, it's and mad. have the faith yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, jesus will increase the holy spirit will increase your faith yeah. but you have to believe first yeah. you have to believe in him so jesus christ said that in the book of mark 11 okay 24 you yeah. see he said what if you pray you believe that yes. you have received it it is yours yes so that means if you don't believe it it's not yours listen guys the word of god is yes and amen yes. you see yes. what makes us believers is that we believe the word of god when we pray that our prayer has been answered but guess what our time is not god time yes. what did the bible say thousand years like a day a day is like thousand years so you can't push god around Do you know what i mean okay <laughs> amen yeah so prayer is very important you know if you are a shadow god if you don't pray you must well forget it because i tell you no, once you also, go ahead brother, some people pray like it's a script mm. you know i gotta pray this and i gotta pray that and i gotta add this and i gotta finish with this and i gotta start with this you're so wrong there you go it's completely wrong yeah because the, when you open your mouth and talk prayer is like talking to god it that's is. what you need to do absolutely mm. talk to him oh god i feel so upset this 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 happened mm. you know that's your prayer you don't have to oh i need to end with our father i need to begin with our father i need to do this i need to do that it's just not going to help you yeah. at all it says in the word to don't babble on yeah there you go because you are just like an empty vessel babylon yes. you know and if i say babylon is like a beating a drum drum without no without exactly. no it's without nothing inside it yeah. it's empty drum okay it's just noise They're it's just noise there. just like if you are if you are if you are speaking in tongues yeah and then you babbling on and then if you don't have love the bible says what is pointless yes. you know what i mean so when you pray you must have faith people you pray you must have faith if you don't have faith i can guarantee you your prayer is not going to answer because the bible says what god reward those that have faith in him because he cannot please god without faith you see so this is the word of god that you guys are hearing right now god speaking to us to advise you to make a place make a time where you should pray if you don't i mean for those who are in the school if you're in the school you don't have a place to pray guess what you can tell your classmates to move let, let him go for a walk and he can, he can have time to pray Brother, go yeah. to I... church and sit there mm. find a church there you go sit there and pray as you're walking mm. past no one will know where you are yeah mm. only the lord will know what you're yeah. going to and that is why they will call it my need. hiding place yes. yeah. you see we are going to the prayer house for night with you this is what we do every friday people not just because he's here us we're doing it live with you but this is what we've been doing since two years now since yes. it's, it's more, than a, more than a more year than now a year. so that's what we do every friday friday you know? night friday night we will go this is our friday night friday night out 
<laughs> you know what I mean, no? Because people used to we, say we party hard. People, <laughs> people, people used we party hard in the in the prayer house. Yes. Amen. People go about go walk about and Friday. They need to party with us. You know what I mean? But you need to party with us, you know? You see? So we pray. And we are very lucky. Our pastor is a are prayer blessed. master. We are yeah. blessed. Yeah. Our pastor party. can pray four or five hours non-stop. I can guarantee you. Okay. You know? And after you're looking at him, he's trying to encourage you to do to, to do, even if he can meet up to four hours, at least if you meet 30 minutes, then from there you can grow to one hour. <laughs> Do you know what I mean, okay? Yeah. Because the time you spend with God is the most important thing you can ever get in this and life. you will see it in yourself. Oh, yes. You will see. Oh, yes. Guarantee you. Oh, yes. Your family will see it. Even though they see it, they will pretend like they didn't see it. They will see it. Because my daughter was telling me, every time you are praying, you are doing this, I'm just laughing. She don't understand because she's just a teenager. You know? I told her her time will come. You know, so, you know what I mean, okay? Yes. So, oh, yes. Oh yes, oh yes, absolutely, you know. They will regret the, the things they said. And I tell you something, we are studying the Bible today in Matthew 20, when Christ was telling the disciples yes. that he's, he's going to go and be mocked and be, and be whipped, and obviously they will, cru they will crucify him and then he will die until but they rise the again. He was giving them the bad news, but the bad news was a good news for all of us. Mm -hmm. So I was telling my daughter today that when I die, as soon as I received that message, I said to her, when I die, I just want you to know that don't cry for me because I already know where I'm going. Oh, yes, mm -hmm. know. You know, she was saddened. I said, but guess what? When we die in this life, we are we upgraded. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's an upgrade. Yes. You know, we are going to heaven. You know, the Bible tells us we the children of God. We shouldn't, we shouldn't cry like unbelievers. Okay. You understand what I mean? Okay. Why am I saying this? The word of God is yes and amen. There's a promise that is being kept for all of us that believe that when we die, we'll make it into the kingdom of God. And that is why we spend our Friday night, we spend our Saturday, we spend our Tuesday, Wednesday, house fellowship, we commit our Thursdays, evangelism, Saturday, prayers, evangelism, Sunday. 24 7. 24 7. Since I tell them. 24 7. Living for Jesus, Jesus at the center of it all. Amen. Jesus is center of our life. Okay. Our relationship is a relationship with God. Okay. We don't do this only on uh, on Sundays. You know, no, 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 no. It's every single day. You know. It's our lifestyle now. You know. It's been bedded. Yes. We are rooted in Christ Jesus. Amen. Amen. No shaking in God's kingdom, people. You know. So we encourage you to do what? And to if, pray. And if you don't know, no shaking, no us. negotiation. Contact us and we can help you. If you don't know, now you know. Now you know. <laughs> Contact find, us. Come find one of us. Amen. We'll Amen. 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 If you, Amen. You know, listen, we, we have a guideline. It's called Bible. You have the you have the manual book there to lead you. Okay? Look at all the men of God, they all pray. Yes. Just mm -hmm. quite pray. Do you think you are special? I don't think so. You know what I mean? You, know, you have to pray. A shadow of God who is not praying is the poorly shadow of God. You know? And that is why so many people falling back in, in their in their in their work with God because of lack of prayer. You see? I know some week when I didn't pray like I used to pray. I can feel it. Oh, yes, and you you, you a shadow of God must know you it. You and you know, know what? Once brother, I yeah. don't know, I worked on a Sunday. The, my, my behavior was not good at all. At work, eh? And I knew it's because I didn't go to church. That it's the one Holy Spirit. Sunday was the worst Sunday of my life because I didn't attend church. Yeah, it's the Holy Spirit is tormenting yeah. you. Listen, guys, this is what the Holy Spirit does. You are a child of God. Do we sin? Yes. Do we disobey God? Yes. Yes. yes, but guess what? He will torment us, he yes. will discipline oh, us, he will chastise <laughs> us. You know what I mean? Remind us <laughs> where we should have been. Yes. yes, and that's what she's saying. She went to work on Sunday, but guess what? The Spirit of God was tormenting her. Oh, you were at the wrong place at the wrong time. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So we, we learn as we grow. You know, yeah. we learn as you grow. You know, you learn from your mistakes. But from, you should learn from your mistakes. Yeah. Not continue making the mistakes. Yeah. And that thing will call mistake. The, the Bible call it sin. Yes. You know, your mistake is your sin, okay? And everyone that sins, the Bible said the soul that sins shall she will surely die, okay? 
Yeah, you, you, you might still live in, but you will die spiritually just like Adam and Eve. You know? So the key point here is people is to do what? Is to focus on God. You know, to focus on God because He's a merciful God, you know. We the children of God, He forgives us when we make mistakes, you know. You know what I mean? But guess what? He is faithful, he is faithful and just. The Bible says, if he confess. The problem is that most people hide their sin, and that's where the problem is. Yes. You know, David never do that mistake. You know, what I mean, that's why God loved David, you know. You always confess it, you know. So that that's the key thing here is to confess your sins, you know, confess your sins, you know. So the key point here is to continue praying, you know. We make mistakes in life. I mean, we are a human being, you know. But guess what? Bible says, blessed are those who God do not count their sin. Do you know who are those people? Us here, we are called the holy ones. We are called holy because God has set us apart because we believe, we believe in Him. Amen? And that's the advantage we have here, people. You know, we are already where we are. Where we need to go we're in the prayer house right now okay and right now we are saying what god bless you people have a good night sister leah god bless good night god bless you good night and amen bless in the mighty name, name of, of jesus. jesus amen amen and may amen. god give you the grace to pray amen. and give us also grace to pray yes. in jesus name amen, amen. amen. and amen bye and bye. amen bye